connected. I'm going to show you how to route your Asus Zenfone 2. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you download uh, the necessary driver uh, because chances are you may need to install that driver. You'll also want to download and extract the CWM or Clockwork Mod folder and save to your desktop. Now open up your device and open up the internal storage folder and then drag this zip file, SuperSU246, over to the internal storage folder, uh, which is on your device. Now you want to open up the settings on your device. You want to scroll down until you see where it says About, and then you want to tap Software Information and then tap build number seven times to enable developer mode. I'm already a developer because I've done that before. You want to just go back and then tap on developer options and then enable USB debugging. Now, once you do that, you may see your window close or something of that nature. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I am running this on Parallels, a virtual machine, but if you're running on Windows, um, you know, it should work fairly similar to this. But before you proceed with anything, you want to make sure that the driver for your ASUS Zenfone is actually installed. So you want to go to your start menu, go to where it says devices and printers, and then you should see maybe an MTP, a little phone. You want to right click on that. You may see a little exclamation point. Right click on that, select properties, because we're going to install that driver now. Click on hardware, select the MTP, and then you want to just double click on that, and then click change settings, click open, and then click update driver, browse my computer. Uh, you want to browse, go to your desktop where we actually save the driver folder that I told you about initially. So go to desktop, you should see the ASUS uh, USB driver, and then just select this option here, Windows XP Vista 7, 8, 8.1, click OK, click next, it's installing the driver, uh, and then click close once the driver is installed. So you may not even have to install the driver. Maybe you already have it installed, whatever the case may be. I just wanted to show you that so you knew how you could get the driver installed because if you don't have that installed properly, then you just can't proceed. There's just nothing you can do. Uh, so you may have to make sure that you have the driver installed so that you know the tools we're about to use can recognize your uh, Asus Zenfone 2. So let's go back to internal storage there. All right, so everything looks good. Now we want to go over to our Clockwork Mod folder, and you should see where it says CAI underscore DAT underscore CWM. All right, all right, so we're going to just double click on that to run that um, CAI DAT CWM. Just double click there, and that will open up a terminal or a command prompt. And uh, now we want to type accept in all uppercase and then hit enter or return. And then we want to type T4 on the next one, then enter or return. And once you do that, your screen on your Zim phone should go black. It's going to reboot. And you should see your Powered by Android logo. And then you're going to start seeing this. So you see the little Android logo. All right. And in a second, it's going to just go through and process. So just be patient. All right. And you should see these little weird lines here. <laughs> I know I sound like a complete noob, but just bear with me. It's cause, probably because I am. Yeah, kind of am a noob. All right, so um, you just want to continue waiting a little bit. Now we are done with that part, and now we're about to enter into the home stretch. Now we need to actually start issuing a commands on the device. Uh, itself. So we're done with the computer side of things. You want to grab your device. You should see this little menu here. Um, and I'm going to just put that so you can actually see it. How about that? That may be nice. All right. So now if I can get this in focus, you can actually see what's going on. So you want to basically select install zip using the, um, the volume buttons on the bottom or the back of your device. So you want to use the volume buttons, the little rocker buttons here to actually select different items. And then you use the uh, power button or sleep button at the top to enter a command. So I selected install zip and then just press on the power button at the top and that will select that option. And now you want to choose the zip file from SD card because remember, we moved that zip file over initially to internal storage. So just press your power button 
And once you press your power button, you will be at this screen here. So you see several different options, but thankfully we need to select the first option, which is zero. So all you need to do is just make sure that zero is selected and then just press your power button once more. All right. And now if you look at the bottom, you'll see it super su uh, 246.zip. So just scroll all the way down using the volume keys like this and then press the power button. And now you want to say yes and then press power and this is what you'll see. So now it's actually doing its thing here, going through the installation process. All right. And now if you look back at the top, you can actually see some of the details of that. So the install is complete, which is a very good, good sign. All right. So now let's look at the top of the screen for more options. We actually just basically want to reboot uh, our device now. So you should see, let's see, go back. So just select go back and go back and now reboot system. Now you want to just press your power button to select reboot system and then select no here and then press enter or press your power button and, and now it's going to reboot and folks that is basically it we have rooted our device now uh, we're going to of course confirm once we come back up and everything boots back up as normal but our device is now rooted in yeah so you could do all the cool things that a rooted device can do now it's actually really easy it's just like getting the driver installed uh, making sure you have all the files, the right files downloaded, etc., etc. It's just the little details, but the actual process of rooting this device is super easy. Um, so the more you do it, the better you become at it. The more you can just breeze through this stuff. I'm completely new at this. I think I've rooted, you know, a couple of Android devices in the past, but this is sort of like my first one in a long time, and I want to get better at this stuff. So hopefully you'll join me and. A learning with me all right so let's wipe up now we are, we're looking for the super su I'm probably saying that wrong it's probably like super sue or something I don't know um, but correct me because like I said I'm still learning so you just swipe over and over and over and eventually I don't see it there there we go so there you go super sue all right so put this back in focus here there we go. All right, so just tap on that. And they're asking us to follow. But I don't want to follow, so I'm going to select select no thanks. All right, and then we go to settings. Now you see where it says enable super user. So super user is enabled, meaning that root is, you know, enabled. We are rooted and we're ready to go. 